so friends you can see a app opening on my phone this is basically a ionic capacitor app in angular framework i just installed a launch navigator plugin inside this and you can see we have destination latitude and destination longitude basically we have destination gps coordinate here so when i try to navigate it will start navigation by using one of the external app either google map or uber anything which we will select so let's click the navigate first so you can see you can see these are the options here and let's select google maps for now so you can see uh, your location is here and it's it's uh, here is the option of start navigation like this so this is the basically the navigation uh, functionality through ionic app basically it's open an external app not in built we have nothing in built inside any app we just open external app to start the navigation basically so it helps in many cases so let's check the code how it will work so first let's click the start so you can see the navigation is start here so this way we can start the navigation through ionic app by using a external app so let's check the code first so friends uh, this is the plugin basically i will put the link of this plugin in the description of the video and this is basically a launch navigator plugin and when we have to use if we have to use this in any capacitor app then we have to we must have to run these commands these three commands before using this so, so make sure you install this command and after this uh, when we check the code we have three files here first is app module.ts second one is our component where we have to use that plugin launch navigator plugin so this is the navigate html and its ts file so first we have to do some changes in app module.ts file we have to register that installed plugin launch navigator here like this import launch navigator uh, from this path and after importing we have to mention in the provider array like this so this is the app module.ts part and after this we when we actually use this plugin we have to again import this here like this and and basically navigation work for destination let's say we have our current location and we have to go out some other destination so for the other destination we must have their gps coordinate so this gps is the type of number array so first element is latitude and second one, second is longitude so this is the array of number of two elements first is lat second is long so this is the gps coordinate for the destination and we have a method test navigator where we just call the launch navigate with a launch is nothing but it's a type of launch navigator uh, plugin so we have a navigate method of launch where we pass the gps like this and 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 second one is options uh, it's optional uh, value so basically we have to just pass the gps the destination gps and it will automatically pick the start position as our current location so and uh, this is the uh, this returns the promise and we will just call this method test navigating method from the html part like this so this is the button where we call the test navigator method and this is the input box uh, text area text area to 
where we just bind the uh, GPS coordinate, first latitude, second one is longitude. Basically, it's the GPS array of first element, and this is the GPS array with second element. So, second element is longitude, first is latitude. We can change a letter for the testing purpose also. So, this is the SQL code, this is the TS code, and I already show you the video in the starting. So this is the way it works basically. Hope you like this. If you like this, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, we'll be back soon with some other video. Thank you.